You know, if you were cash back and you could earn on everything with just one card, Chase Freedom Unlimited. Chase Freedom Unlimited and Chase Freedom Flex are two of Chase's signature card series, known for offering no annual fees, cash back benefits, and generous welcome bonuses. Both options are good choices for consumers with good or excellent credit and offer strong reward rates on eligible travel, restaurant, and drugstore purchases. So here we compare the two cashback credit cards so you can decide which is the best card for you. Chase Freedom Flex and Chase Freedom Unlimited are two competing cashback credit cards. Both cards offer cost-saving annual fees in similar cashback categories. These cards are evenly matched, but the best option for you depends on how you want your money back. Although billed as cashback cards, if you have another Chase Unlimited reward earning card like the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, you can convert the cashback earned with the Freedom card into a transfer. You're looking for a new card in considering Freedom. Choose the card that will benefit your spending habits the most. Both Freedom cards offer 5% cashback on travel, book through the Chase Unlimited Rewards portal. 3% refunds for food and restaurants, including carryout and eligible delivery services and drugstores. Flex also offers 5% cash back up to $1,500, 1% after that. On total purchases and activated quarterly bonus categories and $1 cash back on all of the purchases. Unlimited does not have a rotating bonus category and instead offers a 1.5 discount on all other purchases. Flex and Unlimited have some overlapping cash back categories but differ in other areas. However, these cards differ in their rotating reward categories and the amount of cash back you receive on daily purchases. If you earn ultimate rewards points on an irregular basis, you may be able to get more value from your rewards. In addition to cashback benefits, Flex and Unlimited each offer welcome bonuses. A new Flex card holder can earn $200 cash back if he spends $500 on purchases in his first three months from account opening. Plus, when you spend up to $12,000 in your first year, you'll get 5% back on bulk purchases at gas stations and grocery stores, excluding Target and Walmart. New unlimited card holders receive unlimited cash back. At the end of your first year, Chase automatically doubles the cash back you earn. It depends on how you receive cash back. If you want a card that doesn't require activation, Freedom Unlimited is the solution. Otherwise, with Freedom Flex, a Shabak rating of 5 is very good in the rotation category. Also, think about bonuses. Freedom Unlimited comes out on top here with the potential for $100 in cash back within the first year of card ownership. Freedom Unlimited and Flex cards are supported by different networks and therefore offer slightly different benefit packages. Freedom Unlimited is powered by the Visa Network and Freedom Flex is powered by MasterCard. Unlimited card holders receive a Visa Platinum or Visa Signature card depending on their credit worthiness. These tiers offer similar benefits such as extended warranty protection, comprehensive rental car insurance, and Visa purchase discounts. Flex card holders can take advantage of the World Elite MasterCard benefits, which offer additional premium benefits, including cell phone protection. You're going to also receive extended warranties, fully comprehensive rental car insurance, a valuable MasterCard experience, and more. Chase also offers special limited time offers on both cards, including 5% cash back on Lyft rides until March 2025, and get three months of Dash Pass free. Get free delivery and reduced service fees at hundreds of restaurants when you order $12 or more with DoorDash. It will then be automatically enrolled in Dash Pass at a 50% discount for the next nine months unless you cancel. Must be activated by December 31st, 2024. Both Freedom Cards have the same fee structure. Cardholders benefits from no annual fee and 0% initial APR for the first 15 months on new purchases and balance transfers. Variable APR 20.49% to 29.24% after that. For the first 60 days, there's a balance transfer fee of $5 or 3% of each transfer amount, whichever is greater. Subsequent reoccurring fees will be the greater of $5 or 5% of each transfer amount. These cards come with a 3% foreign transaction fee, making them not ideal for international travel. If you frequently travel outside of the U.S., consider another Chase card without foreign transaction fees, such as BJ Sapphire Preferred Card. Flex offers a high cashback rate of 5 that rotates quarterly upon activation. However, Unlimited has a simpler cashback program that doesn't require you to activate a bonus category. Extreme Credit Card Optimizer may also consider opening both cards to maximize cashback benefits. This is a good choice for those who want to earn up to 5% on bonus category purchases, Flex, and on daily purchases, Unlimited, earn 1.5% cashback. Both Freedom Cards offer cashback in the form of Chase Ultimate Rewards Points, so you can transfer Ultimate Rewards Points between other eligible Chase cards, such as the Chase Sapphire Preferred. The bonus category of these two cards should be very lucrative for many people. However, if you're looking for a card that only offers cash back with great flat rates, you might be better off with a card like City Double Cash Card. City Double Cash has no annual fee and earns 2% cash back on every purchase, 1% back on purchase and 1% back on payment. 
With Chase Freedom Unlimited, you earn just 1.5% on all purchases outside of the bonus categories, while with Chase Freedom Flex, you earn an additional 1% on those purchases. That being said, City Double Cash doesn't have its own bonus category, so if you spend even a small portion of your monthly expenses on food or drugstore and then spend it on Freedom Flex rotating bonus category, you're going to be eligible for either. It may contain a Freedom Card. Additionally, the two Freedom Cards have limited travel benefits compared to many other Chase credit cards. This is not surprising since these are primarily cashback cards. But if travel perks are important to you, consider the Chase Sapphire Reserve instead, which comes with advanced benefits like a $300 travel credit, airport lounge access, global entry or TSA pre-check credits, travel delay credits and cancellations. Consider cards like protection. Of course, all of these benefits are not free. Chase Sapphire Reserve's annual fee is not cheap at $550 per year. So it's up to you to decide whether these benefits are worth the price. Finally, you should also avoid using the Chase Freedom Card abroad, as there is a 3% exchange fee. These fees can add up quickly, and in most cases, cost much more than the cash back you get from using your car. You can't go wrong with either Chase Freedom credit cards, but depending on your needs, one may be a better fit for you. If you believe you can take full advantage of the Chase Freedom Flex quarterly bonus categories, an additional $5 per quarter could exceed the bottom 1% of all amount outside of the bonus categories. However, keep in mind that you need to track these categories every quarter and figure out how much you spend on them. On the other hand, if you don't want to worry about that, Chase Freedom Unlimited offers a simple and easy way to earn credit card rewards. Both Visa and MasterCard are widely accepted in the United States, but there are some exceptions. For example, Costco only accepts Visa, so if you shop at Costco often, the Chase Freedom Unlimited card is a better option. However, Chase Freedom Flex has many more benefits than Chase Freedom Unlimited. If you want a card that protects your phone, the Chase Freedom Flex is the clear winner. This will give you a peace of mind and potentially save you money in the future. This is an invaluable perk that is rarely found on cards with no annual fee. But if you can't decide between the two cards, you can have both. You're not limited to only having one of the two, you can enjoy the best of both worlds by having both. For example, you might want to use Chase Freedom Flex for rotating bonus categories and mobile protection purposes. Then switch to Chase Freedom Unlimited and get 1.5% cash back on all purchases that don't qualify for the bonus category. Note that both cards fall under Chase's 524 rule. This means that its five or more credit card applications have been approved at all banks within the past 24 months. So, your new Chase credit card will automatically be declined. But this is not the case for most people. In a few years, we only get one or you will only get two credit cards. So, when considering whether a new credit card makes sense, consider whether the Chase Freedom Flex and or Chase Freedom Unlimited might fit your criteria. Whether you're new to credit card benefits or an expert in the field, the Chase Freedom Flex and Chase Freedom Unlimited credit cards are great because you get your money back no matter what you buy. However, it is important to choose the one that allows you to get the most out of your credit card benefits. So, which one do you think is right for you and why? Comment down the reason and do leave a like and share the video. Subscribe for more financial comparisons, tips, and tricks.